back to the game. All right, here we go. All right, them and us. Hey, Roxy, how you doing? What about your shirt? I would give it a seven. There are some things about it I really like and some things I'm not a huge fan of. Like, if this is what I if this is what I think it is, we, we did a puzzle and then all of a sudden the way forward opened up and then this weird portal opened up. And inside the portal is a storage container. It's your item box, basically. Oh, I get it now. Good lord. Do it for science. Um... Yeah, so we have another memory that we didn't read. Whoops. I gotta remember how to do things. Okay, memory entry three. Here we go. <laughs> Marion. Yeah, I, I, I do enjoy it. I, I, I got this for about half the price because I got it during early access about two years ago. It's definitely worth 20 bucks, 20, 25 bucks for sure. Um, it's like 40 bucks now. I'd say wait for a sale unless you're like a die-hard survival horror fan. I can't tell what's reality and what's fantasy anymore. The things I've witnessed so far don't make any sense. I just somehow managed to find a portal that led me to some kind of strange room. It looks like it has something to do with the cult. I can see the same picture in there of the strange-looking man whose portrait I saw in the mansion. Could that be the master? I don't know what's real anymore. Yeah, so basically we're in a pocket dimension. And within this pocket dimension... After like three or four hours of playing the game, is our storage container. Up to this point, we've just been leaving stuff on the freaking floor. It hasn't been going around the game, you know? It's a little annoying, not gonna lie. Not a huge fan of that. Like, what the fuck is this thing? We can change our outfits if we want to. Oh, I checked out the, uh, what, like, what these actually are. The police, modern, and house. It's basically, they're lewd. They're not, like, porn lewd, but it's, like, low-cut, short skirt, high heels sort of uniforms. Yeah, that's meaty pricing. It is. 40 bucks is a bit meaty, but... Oh, I'm sucky. Sucky. I'm sorry, Kia. <laughs> like, um, and then we have the retro costume, which is... We looked at this before, right? Yeah. Where she looks all pixelated. <laughs> I don't... I don't like that. <laughs> Harmless, no! Pretty sure Survivor outfit is the one we were in? I, no, that's not what I mean at all! No! Don't focus on that! God! Yeah, so we can change how the game looks. Box of plo Ploetus. Ploetus? Plo plow plow I don't know. The La Manche configuration. That's what I'm calling it from now on. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, Falcon, exactly. Damn, Sean. <laughs> God damn it. Excerpt from the uh, Atlas of Skira. An, explora an exploration of occult myths with historical origins. The term Box of Ploetus originates from the Greek god Ploetus who is known as the god of wealth, as well as the god of greed. No one knows who exactly first coined the term Box of Plautus. <sighs> I'm going to say it so many times. But it is believed that the well-known esoteric fraternity Ordo Templi or Orinitus or Orientis popularized the, popularized the term. I can't talk! There's a new Fatal Frame ga game coming out on uh, Steam, too. I that might actually be the first one I play after they had funded expeditions throughout the world to find the box. After learning of its origins through recently deciphered cuneiform tablets in 1904, certain high-ranking members of the mysterious organization, which has connections to the Thelemites and Freemasons, became obsessed with finding it. According to the OTO's transcription of the text, the box of Ploetus was said to be a small puzzle box made of seemingly indestructible material that, when activated, could be used as an infinite source of preservation for any object, no matter how big or small harnessing a sort of fourth dimensional frequency to perform this feat. To one who liked to hoard wealth like Ploetus, this was, it was the ultimate prize. It is said in order to activate the box, one must rearrange the sliding tiles that comprise its walls in a specific pattern. To date, no one has discovered such a box, and according to a noted archaeologist, blah 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 blah. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, it's been filed. Oh, it's just gonna go ahead and solve itself. Okay, cool. Falcon. Okay, and then you just, you buy stuff. But I don't know what the SE is. I, I have no SE. Or even how to, like, where do you even carry such a thing? Key to unknown. Spiritual essence. Okay, so that's a new thing we gotta try and get, I guess. It's locked. I feel like I'm being watched. The coals are still warm. Someone recently had a fire lit. Is that? Up in the cor- oh no, that's not- that it looked like a cat up in the painting in the, uh, on the right there. It looked like a cat with tits, but it's not. Strange, this clock is silent. Whoever lives here probably hates the sound of it. It did, okay? Someone's sleeping in this bed. It's locked. It looks like this door is protected by some kind of dark smoke. All right, let's, uh, enter that portal. Okay, you know what? Shush. Cat tats. God. <sighs> We'd open up this way to that door there. So... If we go straight... Oh, there's an item in that... What is that item? Oh, it's a small bandage. And first aid kit. I should probably grab those real quick while I can and just drop them off in that item room so I don't have them all over the fucking place. And then what was that green? Ah, oh, I didn't fully explore it, or did I? Fuck it. Okay. Well, let's grab the small man here real quick. Be gone. Roxy! God, that's hilarious, but... God. Yeah, you know what? I apologize if that offends anyone. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to be lewd. It just... There were boobs in that picture, and it just looked it, like it had a cat face. God. Just talk about kitties. Keep hitting the wrong button. Straight this way. Oh, what am I? Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I can't go that way at all. But I can get the first aid kit at least, so. We could drop this off in the uh, portal room and then go forward. You know, I've been losing it for a while, Ozzy. I've been losing it for a while. I went the wrong fucking way. Oh my god. There we go. You don't have to... Hey, Zemsi, the thing that you DM'd me, is that just... That's just for my eyes only, right? But for our D&D, okay, just want to make sure. So I won't talk about that then. Can we look at that painting? No. Um, there are dogs around there. There were dogs in that area that I fought, but I haven't, I, I've killed them all basically, I hope. All right, let's go through the only door we really can. I do, but I can't. <laughs> I do, but I fucking can't. <clears throat> well, I don't, I'll, I'll just leave it for now. Maybe next session. Once I decide on some things. We'll talk later. <laughs> I want to talk about it so bad. Okay, let's see what we got here. Where are we now? 
And there's another... So, so the portal just is everywhere. Okay. Okay. Um... Yeah, okay, let's fucking... What are they? Oh, I think it was shotgun shells. Oh, tell me we're getting a shotgun sh soon. Oh my god, please. I get you. Yeah, okay. At least, you know, at least the knife is a lot easier to use than in other games like this. So. So what, what did we, what did we, I keep in the wrong button? Shotgun ammo, nice. Oh, there's a guy eating. Oh, hi. Oh, great, the other one's here. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Oh, God. <laughs> Except the marriage proposal. <laughs> well, I did want to say I was the either the groom or the bride, so, you know. I'm not really taking damage from that, so that's kind of good. I am taking damage from that, motherfucker! I hear dogs, so... yay. Pretty sure I can't open this lock from the other side. Okay. Oh, fuck! Scared the shit out of me. Uh, yeah, I'll keep an angle biter. I'd rather he puke on me than grab me. That does less, way less damage. Eh, shit. I tried to dodge like Dark Souls. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm familiar with this game. Is it tied to Fatal Frame? Uh, no, it's not. I was just talking about Fatal Frame in general. Because um, somebody brought up the, uh, Fatal Frame for some reason. And I know it's coming out. In, there's a new game coming out on Steam soon. Uh, this one's just... Uh, it's kind of like a Resident Evil clone. Uh, hold C-Spine. Oh, it's a friggin' dog, yeah. Where did it friggin' go? You piece of shit! Okay, so the way we're going, it's really the only way we can go, but I want to see if there's any items this way. I can hear zombies. Oh, hey. <laughs> Do 
You guys hear? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it, the dog's AI is not exactly great. Like, like I said, the game has some really good moments and some that are either just direct rips from Resident Evil Silent Hill games or design choices that just really make you go, huh? Why would you do that? Got him. Okay, that's good. Wait, did I see? Yeah, there's a zombie up ahead. I can see him. Yep, right there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a side path. Okay. I'm guessing there's no items. Just... Where the hell am I? Is this an island? Okay. That dog barking is so annoying. Please tell me we can kill one soon. Yep. one of the barking okay you know i i am digging a hole no zombie dogs zombie dogs they're a completely different thing god yeah mystery host island vibe yeah oh that sucks At least I know exactly how many knives it takes to take down a zombie. So that's good. Okay, so what's in here? Okay. One knife, just many swings. God. Okay, this is... Okay, I know what's gonna happen. Yeah, you can get seven good swings. Nice. I like it when they just sit on the ground and let you just knife the shit out of them. Shotgun! Oh shit, there's a guy in the ground. Really? I didn't even see him. <laughs> setting traps. Pretty much. Okay, so I can hold four shells. That's good. Or five. Okay. It's good to know. I can't do anything with this door. This door is locked. There's a strange shape on the door. Not 
Nothing here. Come on, what about zombie cats? I actually, you know, I, I would think zombie cats are worse than zombie dogs because they have teeth and claws. Whereas zombie dogs, if you can get their head away from latching onto you, you could pretty much, you're okay. They could just kind of kind of scratch you, but it's not going to be anything that's going to like disembowel you or sc scratch the shit out of you, you know? So what's in here? Whoa, that's trippy. It's like, oh, there's a door here. Uh, no, no, I will not go down. Thank you, though. Thank you for asking. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, what's... A crank and a bandage. God damn. Okay, so I gotta... I gotta drop off more stuff. Speak into consent. <laughs> Sensi. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I don't want to get rid of my shotgun, but at the same time. Uh, damn it. I need more item slots. Fuck. Um, let's go. S well, we can't get to that one thing yet either. I need. Uh, let's. She does. She really does. I even picked an outfit with pockets. But no. And wait. Huh. I've got a backpack on right now, but it's not showing the backpack on her back like it was before. When I changed the outfits, it's now got a regular outfit. Huh. That's kind of a weird little thing. What the f- Don't tell me those ones keep getting up. Yeah, you know, fuck you. I'm not gonna kill you again. No, they don't, because there's the one I killed earlier. So it must just be one that just popped in for no reason. Um... Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm gonna go back. And yeah, I mean, I, I would think... And also, they're smaller and harder to deal with. Way smaller and harder to deal with. Yeah, we'll just drop off some shit and heal up a little. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop off the shotgun and the shells for now. We have a handgun with a ton of ammo. We're doing pretty okay with what we're doing. I think we'll just keep it like that. And I will use that to heal up. So I can grab the one that we're gonna have in the other place. Zombie rats, though. That's... Well, I mean, those would only be dangerous in the fact that they could spread the disease faster, more efficiently than other animals. I don't really see them as something that would kill you. They're just something that, like, if you're not careful, boom, you, you're infected. Know what I mean, Vern? Yeah, but birds are, I would say birds are easy to dodge. Like, really easy to dodge. I'm, uh, geez, I got turned around. I hate that. The control scheme I'm using, it's a little annoying. We're gonna grab the stuff at the top and then we're gonna go downstairs and see what the fuck is in the little basement. Which will be terrifying. So you can't get up. Yeah, they're, they're, zombies can't swim, traditionally. Really? Because the whole thing about the bubonic plague that made it so bad was that it was literally spread by the rats. 
And people not, you know, washing their hands and shit. Because I haven't really heard of other diseases being really spread readily or on a large scale by birds. I could be wrong, though. I could be completely wrong. I just, I personally have not heard of that. Oh, wait, we we're going to go into that little trap door. Almost forgot. I just thought it was called that because it had been crossed over from a bird. Like, uh, like COVID was there. They pretty much guessed that it was passed over from a bat. I didn't realize it was spread, actually spread by birds. I just thought they called it the bird flu because the first it was a it was a transfer virus from a bird to a person. Because those can be really like I mean look at fucking COVID those can really get you. Hey, can't get oh oh there's a. He's where? What are you wearing? They believe it was. He's just going to a concert. Uh, oh, fuck! I just healed up too, you piece of shit. Oh, okay, what? Can't carry anymore. I, of course I can't. So we're gonna leave that. What do we got? We take the empty antique paper. Okay. A sheet of paper with some strange marks on it. Looks very old, probably important. Huh. Yeah, that, I mean, I will say that's a good thing. At least the items are 100% persistent. I don't have a map for this area. Of course you don't. The door is locked. There appears to be three strange symbols above the door. Okay. So, uh, we'll just leave the bandage here. It's fine. We're doing, we have fine on our health. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. And if we really need to run back and heal, then at least we know where to get some. Just gonna ignore this guy. Oh Jesus, he he he, he really walked away, didn't he? Jeez, Louise. All right, all right, buddy. You do you, man. You do you. She's still looking over here. Oh. I didn't like the rest of this place. The water looks stagnant. Oh. Can't open that door, so we head this way now. I hear more fucking dogs. That camera angle is gonna kill me, I swear to god. I don't see one. Oh shit! Mother fucker! Oh, see one runs up on me. Oh, fuck. Dogs in games are some of the worst enemies ever. Like, period. Okay, so... That door we can go through. That guy's just gonna get up, so I may as well just knife the shit out of him. He's also got something at his feet. Get 
got him. Corpse note. It's a game you can't pet them. <laughs> that is very true, Ozzy. Like, if this is going to be a pet in the game, I want to pet it. Ever find uh -huh. this, please? Got him. Read carefully. As a creature that roams the silent, unlike anything I've ever seen before. I don't know if this is the mass is doing, for it's attacked anything and everyone, including us anointed members of this clan. As I write this, I lay bleeding, crippled, mauled, bleeding, crippled by my mauled leg, near delirious with pain. Blade nor firepower has any effect on it. The only reason it didn't kill me outright was because of Jonathan. When things came upon me, I had only my knife, while Jonathan had his shotgun for shooting the gulls that flew in from the bay. Hmm. Right. I watched that monster take two direct blasts from his gun before it tackled him. It chased him. I don't know where they went, but at least he managed to draw the beast away from me. Who knows if he's still alive. I tried finding the shotgun. I know he dropped it around here somewhere before he ran off. It's not like it'd do any good anyway. First it seemed like the buckso buckshot did damage. I saw the thing flinch. Then it changed. It was like firing at a phantom. Christ, I hope it doesn't come back. Oh, wonderful. I believe so, Ozzy. Yeah. There's a lot of supernatural, magical themes and elements to this game. So I, I'm pretty sure that it's um, all magic-based zombies. Which is just fucking wonderful. I'm actually a little terrified right now. Not gonna lie. I don't know. Could be. Could be a curse or something. If I had to fight the thing he's just talking about, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, there is an album. I'm just gonna... I don't know what that's for. Whoops. Fuck, I can't see a kill in it. Hit a locking mechanism, perhaps. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, thanks, Ozzy. Appreciate that. <laughs> going to need a key, okay? What's in here? Excerpt from the Journal of Dr. Arnold Howard. July 20th, 1981. So far, I've discovered some very strange things about the group. I have learned more about the master, including the fact that he is a very, that he's very, very old. Beyond hundreds of years, apparently. They say he is still alive, living on the compound. They will not let me see him since I am not yet an initiate. I am dubious of their claims, to say the least. But I have heard their chants, and I can tell the tongue they use is quite ancient. One I have heard, uh, but I have uh, one I have never heard before in all my anthropological research studying exiled cultures. Along with this, I have discovered certain symbols engraved on some of the ceremonial bowls and cups they use. I would need an archaeologist to confirm my suspicions, but I dare say the symbols I see are that of the Danube script, used during the Neolithic era of the uh, Vinca culture. Vinca culture. Surely these must be replicas, because otherwise... Yeah, I'm probably gonna need it. Although I wonder if it's that one that we fought in that one room. It was like this weird naked zombie that had runes carved on his body, but we took him down with like 30 handgun bullets, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, the game is basically telling me... Oh, whoops. These bones appear very fresh. That can't be right. It must have something to do with the brew that I keep reading the cultists uh, talk about. I am... You know, I'm gonna go back and grab the shotgun, even though I'm, like, right next to a spot that would have... Well... Mm. Okay. 
this door out. The rope looks old and dry. Oh wait, the lighter fluid! I have to go back anyway. Okay, so we we'll, may as well, okay. I just heard something. Maybe it's in the room I can't get to. But I have to go back to anyway. Oh, seriously, he's over here now? Dude gets around, and I hear a dog. I just hope it's just background noise. The boss fight's guaranteed. Yeah, I have to go back no matter what. So I'm gonna need a shotgun ammo. I'm just gonna load up on that. I'll use that instead of, I'll leave the handgun so I can take that. And then I need, the, we found uh, like some lighter oil or something. And I need my lighter, which is another inventory slot. Yeah, they may as well have just called this game Backtrack and Us. Because holy crap, there is a lot of backtracking. Oh, hey, Staple, how you doing? Those off. Grab that. Oh, dude! Thank you so much for the bits! Holy crap! 200, thank you. Thank you very much. That's very generous of you. Um, I'm gonna leave the old key. I'll bring the burning oil and. Oh, fuck. The lighter's in the fucking mansion. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. God damn it. Yeah, this this game should have had item boxes from the get-go. Like, it's so annoying. Yeah, it's not anywhere here, so it's gotta be in the mansion somewhere. I now I just gotta remember where the fuck I put the lighter. And do I have space for it? Okay, good. Um, that's, those are... Okay, so it's just down that hallway. Okay, that, that's good, that's good at least. I mean, I should probably grab that stupid health thing too. Jeez Louise. Um... I'll grab the health kit so I can just drop it outside. And then put it in the item box later. Um, just down this hole. Uh, no, actually, I have not. I've been doing pretty good so far. Just a lot of backtracking. A lot of stupid, stupid backtracking. To join the floor. Holy crap, thank you so much for that gift sub, uh, Stable Gun. Death by Stable Gun. Your first gift sub. Thank you. I don't trust it. Thank you so much. That's very generous of you. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. You are awesome. Um, I don't trust him. Why would I lie about how many deaths I've had? I may be confused as to the exact amount, but if I have died, I would tell you. Thank you, Zemsey, for verifying that. Because I know she'll trust you. Or they'll trust you. I keep screwing that up. I'm sorry. I am so sorry about that, Kia. I feel bad whenever I fuck that up. Um, got that and that. I think we're good. I hope we are. No, I wouldn't lie about that. No, do I trust you? No. Do I trust you? No. 
Oh my god. Uh, no, I guess. Never trust me, my god. Okay. Just keep not responding. Yeah, I send you DMs all the time, you just flat out ignore me. Not all the time. I hope that 16 shotgun bullets is enough to deal with the boss creature I'm about to face, more like, most likely. Okay, you got it, you got it, you got worked on by several times, there's no death, oh my god. Yep, I friggin' knew it. Oh, so how does that door shut with the ropes like that? That's what I want to know. Empty. It was discarded. Okay. Okay, so we have two spots open now for items. I feel like if I go in there, it's going to be a fucking boss fight. I just... Oh, there's a save room here. Oh. What? I didn't see a gramophone. Oh, it's right there. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, you know what? We left a, uh... Oh my god, stop turning around. Record in the other area. So I'm gonna get it. That's not a bad idea. My god. I'll just, I'm just gonna grab that just because. We're just gonna save our game. Let's do it. Because if this is a boss fight, then if I die, at least yeah. I'm so angry. I think we'll be. We'll see what we'll see what we're dealing with. It's actually an achievement if you sit and wait for the whole song to play. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. These controls are gonna fuck me up, I just feel it. Okay, here we go. Handgun ammo. Of course, I don't have my handgun. I can't be right. And a first aid. Oh my god, the game is basically saying, hey, fuck with. You're gonna die! And there's a fucking... Oh my... Nope, you know what? Mm-mm. mm mm I'm coming back with a handgun. No, fuck this. Fuck it. Fuck it. I... Mm, I do not feel good about that. <laughs> Retro. Especially since it's giving me a full health kit. Gonna go back. Grab my handgun and the ammo. And be like, what up, bitches? Uh, no, no. Although, you know what'd be awesome? It's if they remade the Resident Evil Outbreak games, because those are multiplayer. And I never got a chance to play them on PlayStation 2. But something like that, we have like co-op survival horror sort of game. That would be so fun. Yeah, I know, but like make them good, you know? Or somebody making a game like that where it's good. And not just the, like the 4v1 kind of hunter-killer sort of games, but an actual story-based game like this where you have to work together with other players. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, whenever the game gives you a bunch of ammo and health kits in one spot, that is a huge warning right there. I better not die, because I don't have to do all this shit over again at night. Mm. 
Okay, we're gonna leave that. Take the pistol, take the handgun ammo. Okay. Let's go. Oh, that's cool! I want to see a picture of it! I feel like I like Pyramid Head, and not just because, you know, he's the Silent Hill poster boy or whatever. I like the concept of the character in the original Silent Hill 2. In the other games, he makes no fucking sense, but... We know what he is for Silent Hill 2, it makes a lot of fucking sense, and he's actually a really cool design and character for an enemy. And not Left 4 Dead, Retro, no, no, no. I mean, a game like this, like survival horror, working together, solving puzzles, I don't know, you, you, there'd have to be a way to make it work, though, you know? And honestly, for as long as I've known them, they've lusted after serial killers. Okay. True, true. Okay, now watch me find like an item item. Oh, goody. That is some fucking viscous water, man. That is, oh God. <laughs> That's Gatorade. Oh fuck, this looks like a, fuck it, oh God. The fuck are we? Oh, I do not like this. Ah, we called it. Fuck. The fuck is that? <laughs> what's, what is he, what does your memory say, Alicia? Let's, let's take a moment. Drink the forbidden Mountain Dew. It's chunky water. I'm down below ground now in these god-awful sewers, and horrors I've encountered just keep getting worse. I came across a strange creature. It looks completely unlike the cannibal cultists that tried to that tried to kill me earlier. I hope my daughter is still alive, but I don't see how she can survive in a place crawling with such dangerous abominations. I didn't realize we were actually looking after her daughter in this area. I just thought... Nothing of the game has said that her daughter was actually here, just that she wanted to be reunited with her daughter, but whatever. <sighs> I can't see it. What? Did I just die? Oh, fuck. In the nightmares. What is this place? Um. Now I know I've been going. Now I know I have to be going crazy, or at the very least hallucinating. I can't remember how I got here, but I'm sh somewhere in somewhere entirely different now. This does. It doesn't seem of this world. In fact, it looks just like the terrifying places I saw in my nightmares. I need to find a way out of this hellish place. Holy fuck. Uh, of course you don't have a map. Oh, there's a floating bones. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Cool, 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 cool. Of course, I can't carry any items if I find any. Oh boy. Oh, I don't like 
like this. I don't like this one bit. Oh, good! Wait, what? It might. It's hard to say, though. So what the fuck was that? The basin looks filled with blue water. It looks sparkling clear, almost divine, like holy water. I need something to put the blue water into. Oh, great, I have to... Ugh. Well, I'm not going to heal myself until I find some sort of something to... Did I... There's like a... Huh. Yeah, there's like... What the fuck is that? Huh. It's weird looking. I, I gotta find... Is that the world serpent? No, it's just... It looked squarish. It's hard to say. Oh, look, it's that special box. I have no idea how to see how much spiritual essence I have. Although, it looks like there's a corner down here that it hasn't opened up yet on the bottom right. So. Yeah, fine. Fuck you, game. Fine, you win. Divine Blue Chalice. Life of a Thousand Gods. Okay. There once was a divine being who had the power to split the world in two, so that he could warden over the afterlife and the land of the living. In this afterlife, there exists a water with special properties, used as a defense against these creatures born from the celestial hell. A small shred of order to help in all this chaos. Use this holy water on the ones that carry the souls of the undead ones. It will cause them to lose their power temporarily, as well as to destroy them when they are weakened. It can also destroy their marks to prevent access to other places. Keep in mind this divine water is not in limitless supply. You can only refill your bottle from divine fountains. Okay. Oh, like that thing right there. I gotta use the bottle on it, I think. There's like a glowing guy in the corner. Okay, okay. Pee on the gods. If I spell the room, good god. Put the holy water in your mouth. I'll see. <laughs> I mean, hell, it's a vessel. Just a fleshy one, that's all. Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis! <laughs> Fill the bottle. Oh, God. See, now I gotta go, I gotta use it, then I gotta come back and refill it again, because I'm anal like that. I don't know where all these bones are flowing up from. Like, good lord. Oh, it is the ground. Okay. Snake eating its own snake. I missed what? What? Oh god, seriously? That's hilarious. Oh, what is this? Okay, now we can finally learn about spiritual essence. The endeavor was okay. The creatures of darkness can absorb the souls of the living ones by taking it with them to the afterlife world. Once the use these souls of the dead ones to unlock new items or weapons. You can also sacrifice these souls on box of plotus to retrieve any item left inside the land of the living as well as the afterlife world. Okay. Spiritual challenge since I have 1,000, okay. I want 100,000 for that stupid key. Oh, so I can recall, okay. It's interesting. Whoa.
Um, how do I? How do I use the fucking water on those guys? I don't think I can. Have to weaken them first with the shotguns or it's not, like not working on them yeah it's like oh for fuck's sake well even then when they were like in their pause state I couldn't do anything to them So I don't know. Now I gotta go grab all my stuff again. God damn it. Well, hey, Wolfie, how you doing? It's been a while. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, like, I, we saw blood, but I don't know if it really did anything. I played the beta. It's not bad. Um, it's not full price good for me, but uh, it was definitely not bad. I, it's something I'm, I'm actually kind of interested in. Okay. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move all my stuff around where I want it to be, and then I'm gonna. Yeah, it's, sh yeah, it's, it's shiny left for dead. Yes, yes. And it was fun. Uh, Kia and I played it, and we both enjoyed it. But not to the point where I would pay full price for it, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was going to wait for a sale as well. If I'm getting it, I am definitely waiting for a sale. Where did I leave? A stupid little crank. In the mansion, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean, Kia. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, how's, uh, how's life treating you, Wolfie? Hope things are good for you. I'm gonna leave, actually I'm gonna drop some stuff because I'm gonna run into the mansion I'm gonna grab all those fucking items that are all on the ground and stuff in there. Oh nice, nice. I wasn't gonna stream tonight, but uh, I figure what the fuck, you know? Yeah, exactly, fuck. it's inside the mansion, so. I'm just grabbing all that stuff and putting it in that little item box, so at least then I know where it is. No more guesstimating. And then I'll take a little save record with me. That'll be good to go. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, so we got the records there. Nothing else anywhere else. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's the wrong way. So let's grab the two records. Okay. Get off. Good lord.
Okay, I'll check that out. If it's in uh, my price range for what I'm willing to spend for it, then I'll probably pick it up then. Okay, Ozzy, have a great night. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. Take it easy. And have a good night. I just, I, I have the feeling that if I get the game, I'm going to be, well, I don't know. That's it. Okay. Another has risen to join the flock. Dude, Wolfie, thank you so much for that gift sub to Ozzy. Really appreciate that. 37 gift subs you've given so far, man. Thank you so much for that generosity. You are awesome. So, nice, Wrath. Very nice. And we got the uh, full health kit in the area as well that we can use. So. Yep, we're good. We are doing good, 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 Duh. Oh, Jesus. Not supposed to be there. Alright, well, Tucker's trying to sleep with me. Stay sleep with me. Okay, have a good night. And get some rest. You deserve it. Haha. -ha. Okay, and we'll just. Never have too many saves. Okay. Hey, <laughs> on, Wolfie. Thank you so much. In anticipation, there is ammo and health kit. Okay, and we're fully stocked up, ready to go. Another has risen to join the flock. A tier two? Holy shit, man! I didn't realize you gifted a tier two one. Thank you so much! Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. You rock, man. I think that is the first tier two sub I've ever been gifted. That's amazing. Thank you. Two for two. Get turned around too much. Okay. Yeah, it's very thick. It's that. It's that. It's that water that eats like a meal. You know, Campbell's chunky water. I'm gonna go take this opportunity. Well, with another female with another female for a bit. <laughs> okay, have fun, Staple Gun. Thank you very much for hanging out and thank you for those bits. Really appreciate it. Have yourself a good night and have fun with your uh, female compatriot. Uh, what? Uh... Yeah, we already went through that. And thank you for more bits. Holy crap! Water like how mom used to make. <laughs> oh, we already we already read those. 635-826, what does that mean? Is 635-826, is that her prison number? Hmm. All right, let's just uh, skedaddle. We're gonna have to use the uh, 
health kit. Already went through that. And when we get back, we're gonna we'll try going through the other door, the one the red one that we made uh blue. We just absorb the spiritual essence from it. Okay. Interesting. And do, do, do. spiritual essence. Okay. Let's go fill up that water. Maybe I can't attack the green ones yet because even when I like they were resting, I couldn't use the water on them or anything, so. Some trick to it I don't either don't know yet or an un, or an am unable to do yet. Okay, there we go. I do wish I had a map though. That would be nice. This looks like it takes me right back to, well, no, it looks like more of the same. Yeah, more of this hellscape, okay. Let's see what's through here. Oh, it's a blue one. Uh, really? No, don't you fucking... Okay, so that's that is a really fucking convoluted way to kill those things. I swear to God. And I'll bet. Oh God, if it's colored like this is divine blue water, right? Yeah, I need green. Oh my God, that's what it is. I need green water for the other fucks. That's what it is. That's a very convoluted way of killing those things. I don't know if I like that. I'll uh, reload it. Okay. Boom. And we're still at caught. Yeah, we're okay. Okay. Stay away from the green area from now until I can find a green chalice. So it's gonna give me oh, 5,000. Okay, it's a pretty good amount. Oh, excuse me. As long as they don't uh, respawn, we're good. around here yes okay oh well you see that in the background there what the fuck is that just over here oh come on 
I got hit twice. That was bullshit. But at least now we know what to do. I just have to be careful about it. That's uh, two deaths now. At least I don't have to do a bunch of backtracking again. Yeah, that will save a lot, I think, is splashing two at once. But, yeah, I've said it before, but those jeans are, like, fucking painted on. They have to be. I should have left my knife behind, actually, but oh well. Hey, anybody else here uh, watching Midnight Mass on uh, Netflix at all? Or has watched Midnight Mass? It's good. It's very good. I liked it quite a bit. I'm done doing my social shit. I can't really talk about it without kind of spoiling a really big part of it, so... Nah, do your social shit. You need that. Sometimes you just need it. Okay, now I gotta be careful with these ones and only splash them. And don't splash them from head on because they'll... fucking smack me. I gotta get him from the side and try and get two at once if I can. And then two shotgun blasts are done, and then just splash, splash, and boom, bada boom, bada bing. It's a 20% of use, so I need to go fill it up. Uh. 